Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will understand how to enable auto response email functionality using contact form 7 in your WordPress website. So if you remember in my last video, we understood how to create a query form like this using a plugin which is called contact form 7 and if someone let's say our visitor is you know fulfilling this form and clicking on submit then as an admin of the website we were also receiving the details now but if you want to enable an auto response functionality what is auto response let's say as soon as user submits a inquiry we as an admin getting an email but if we want to give a let's say confirmation email or we, we want to say or we want to inform user that yes we have received your inquiry and somebody will definitely get in touch with you then in that case we can send that user a confirmation email in response whenever he or she is submitting a form on our website so in order to achieve this functionality what we will do we will simply perform three steps number one we will enable the functionality of this auto response second we will check the functionality and third we will customize the template of what we want to say to the user in terms of response or confirmation so in order to perform the first step we will go to the contact form and we'll click on contact forms and whatever contact form you want to apply this functionality on you need to click on edit so let's say I want to apply this functionality on this particular contact form then I will click on edit button we'll go to the mail settings and if you scroll down there is an option called mail to so this in this mail setting this first one is for sending the details to the admin when somebody is filling up the details so in order to send users detail to the admin this particular mail functionality is used and in order to send response email we want to use this mail to so we will enable this functionality by clicking on this button and now we need to find out how to configure this that is our step number two so here in when we want to send a confirmation email so the confirmation email will be sent to the same email id that user has you know entered so we will say your email so the same tag which we have used to collect the email we will simply enter that now from from means our website so our website title will be gone and this wordpress mail id will be gone so if you want to change this title so we can say Ma learn with learn wp this is our website title and instead of wordpress we can say info even the info dot info at the rate learn wp dot co dot in does not exist not a problem it will still send the email then subject what will be the subject of the mail so we can say thank you for showing interest right or maybe we can say we have received received your inquiry right so whatever mail subject you want to add you can add here then reply to site email id no instead of site email id we want to add this email id so that anyone willing to reply on the mail they can reply directly and we will get their response and here the message body so what message body you want to say so we will say hello and now if you want to address that particular user by the name so you can say just copy the name from here and you can paste after giving a space so thus let's say if the user's name is rahul single then your mail will automatically say hello rahul single right so that gives a personalized experience to the user the main message let's say thank you for showing thank you for showing interest in our services in our services we have successfully we have not successfully we have received your details and someone from our team will get in touch with you let's say in 24 hours with you in 24 hours right and now if you want to sh share some additional information about your brand about your product services or if you want to share any particular thing then you can also uh, mention in that so let's say in case of any query please call us at let's say you want to give your number 
so in that case you can also mention your number so that user will also receive this information and in last we can say regards team learn wp it is not compulsory that you only mention this much of information you can mention more information depending on what is your use case or what you want to showcase to the user so these are the bare minimum option that you need to perform and then you will need to click on save and now let's check it out by checking the contact forms by filling the contact form so we'll simply refresh the page now here let's enter the details rahul singhal enter your email id let's say so this time we will use the same email id which i have we have as an admin so that we get to know whether we are receiving the response email or not and here we will simply enter any phone number and then message let's click on submit thank you your message has been sent let's see how many emails do we get first email we should get as an admin so yes we are getting the message as an admin and second email we should get as a received inquiry so we have received an inquiry this is a response email since in our case the admin email id and the user's email id is same that's why we have received or you know two emails on the same mail id but by default it will not happen the email id will be different and the user's email id will be different but you have successfully received the inquiry on your website now after this configuration user will also start receiving the confirmation email is like this so that they also get notified yes their inquiry is successfully submitted and somebody has acknowledged their uh, you know details so that's it for this video if you like the video press the bell icon subscribe to the channel and like this video so that multiple people will be able to see this functionality and to implement this feature i'll catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye have a nice day